Today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to draw a cross-section of a flower from an insect-pollinated flowering plant. This is very much a biology lesson. If you stumbled across this video while trying to find a lesson on painting a beautiful rose, I'm afraid you're in the wrong place. Also, I'm only covering drawing and labelling of a flower, but there's nothing here about what each part does or how reproduction in flowering plants works. If you want help with those things, look in the description for links to my other videos on plant reproduction. I'm going to start with a few grid lines to, to help me out to get the proportions right. I've got this vertical and horizontal line going through the center in each direction, and then also this line at the bottom quarter. And between the two of them, I'm putting this oval shape here. Now, you don't need to draw this if you don't want to, but this should sort of help you to see the, um, the, the scale of, of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start here at the bottom of the oval and I'm drawing the ovary. And I'm just roughly following that oval. And then when I get towards the top, I'm going upwards to draw the style. And the other side back down, keeping it fairly symmetrical, the style. Then around the oval for the ovary. Then connect up that line there. And then on top of this is the stigma. So just a, a sort of larger section. Up there. We're not looking for perfection in the structures. Okay, now here you can see I've sort of done a, a bit of a broken line. I haven't done this bit very well. Uh, here, this doesn't connect up nicely here, and there's a, um, a gap there, and that's not really acceptable. So I'm going to try that again. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, next, I'm going to go down here to draw the inside of the ovary. Just give the whole thing a bit more detail. So I'm going to go around here with a sort of semi-circle or semi-oval. And then upwards here. And then making sure I connect that nicely. And then the same thing on the other side making the whole thing fairly symmetrical. Okay, I think I can do that a bit better. Okay, there we go. Now next, inside of the ovary, I'm going to draw the ovules, and I'm gonna draw six of them on this diagram, and I'm just gonna draw them as sort of circle oval shapes. One, two, three, and then symmetrically draw another three there. And then connect them here like this. Make sure I do connect all of my lines. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, good. So we are done with the female structure of the flower. Now, I'm also done with these uh, guidelines now. I actually don't need them for any more of the drawing because now I've got a, a scale to base it on. I can base the rest of it around this structure. So next, I'm going to draw the sepals. I'm going to draw them coming out of here. There's one. And here's another one. Notice I'm not looking for perfection in any of this. Um, biological structures uh, tend not to be absolutely perfect. And your artistic skills in this don't really matter. Uh, next, I'm going to draw the uh, petals. Now, petals would be really complicated to draw, but you don't need to do anything too fancy here. I'm going to start down here at the sepals. Going to go upwards like that, above the stigma. 
draw a structure like that. Let's say one petal ends around about there, comes back down to behind the behind the ovary there. And then let's say another petal coming out the same place. Up there like that. Again, not trying to be perfect. And let's say it overlaps and goes behind this petal a little bit. And we go down there like that. I think that's fine. Uh, that'll do for two petals. Now, of course, remember we're doing a cross section, so you've got to imagine that the petals that would be um, in front, you know, between us and the, the ovary, they've been removed by this point. Next, let's put in a nectary. Here. And here. And now is a good time to start doing the male structure of the flower. Now that's the stamen, and it's made of two main parts. So I would do from, you know, it's going to come from down towards the base. So I'm going to do it here as if it's coming out slightly behind the, slightly behind the ovary. Let's see here, and I'm just going to draw a line up like that. Notice again, there was really nothing close to perfection in that. And then we're going to draw the anther at the top of this part. And the anther, I tend to just draw an oval like that, sort of hot dog shape. And another one there like that. And I'm going to do this uh, four times in total for this diagram. I want to be able to see uh, four of these structures. Okay, that'll do. Now notice for my, um, whenever I'm drawing a sort of a, a shape, a circle, an oval, anything like that, I'm always making sure the lines are connected. So for example, when I draw the line, when I draw a circle, or loosely a circle, I would draw it and make sure it's completed like that. And I would take a, you know, the extra couple of seconds to do it. I would not do it like that and leave this sort of, uh, this little broken line or this cross over here important you make sure all of your structures are completed okay now there's not much left to draw we've just got to do the the stem at the bottom but there's more to it than simply drawing a couple of lines we could simply go like that but I want to also draw the receptacle in it as well so I'm not going to do that let's zoom in a little bit I'm going to have a slightly enlarged section here and then go inwards and then down. So that's the receptacle at the top and the stem going down. Okay, going down there like that. Okay, done. Okay, now as far as the diagram, the, the diagram goes, we're all finished and uh, we're just gonna label all of the structures now. For all of my labels, I'm going to draw them to the side and then uh, connect them upwards with a ruler. Let's choose a different color. Uh, I'll go with blue for these labels and we'll start with the female parts of the flower. I'll label them all together down here. So we'll start with the stigma, which is the part at the top. Below that is the style. And then we've got the ovary. And then the ovules. And we'll connect each of these up. 
So this part right here, there is my stigma. Now notice, uh, this is a, um, a, a mistake I, I do see people make quite often. Notice that the line connects to the structure that I'm drawing. Some people tend to make it go roughly towards the place that they're labeling. Um, and it sort of implies, you can sort of see what we're getting at, but here the label line actually connects up to the, the petals. It's not touching the stigma. Also, people sometimes have a tendency to use arrows like this. So it doesn't connect to the structure, but it points towards it. Again, if it doesn't connect to the structure, then it's not clear what you're labeling. It leaves it quite ambiguous. Make sure that when you do your label line, it connects to the thing that you are labeling. There's actually a, a distinct connection there. Next, we'll do the style, which is that long part all the way down. Then we'll do the ovary. It's important to try and avoid going through structures as much as you can. Obviously the style has to go through the, the petals and it has to go, I mean the labor line for style has to go through the petals and it has to cross over the filament here. Um, it is unavoidable really in some cases, but as much as possible try to avoid doing it. Now next here are the ovules and I've used plural ovules and so I'm going to draw the labor line to two of them. good. Now and before I go on to labeling any more structures, it's worth highlighting that this part together, the whole thing, the whole female part of the flower is called the carpal. And this is female. Okay, next, since we've done the female part there, let's draw the, the male parts, let's label the male parts next. So, the top part is called the anther. And the, the long part that supports it is called the filament. And again, take out your ruler and connect them. Make sure you connect up to these structures. Okay. And collectively, the male part of the flower, the male parts there, collectively make up the stamen. The male part. Okay, I think up top here is a good place to label the petals. There's no really specific place where you have to label one part or the other, of course. Just label it somewhere where you can draw a label line that cuts through as few structures as possible. And um, as much as possible, try to label at the side of the structures, not above or below. Okay, looking good. Now then, I think we've got some space down here. This seems like a good place to label the nectary. And below it, we can label the sepals here as well. So there's the line to the nectary. And here, sepals. OK, 
Okay, good. The only two parts left are here. The receptacle and the stem. Let's label receptacle here. That's that larger part where the stem connects to the flower. And then the rest is the stem. And that's about all there is to it. If you want a free printable version of this diagram, or this prettier one here, there's a link in the description to the page where you'll find them.